everyone. Uh, so I want to take a look at this problem, which is the integral of sine cubed of 2x dx. And we're going to do this by substitution. And, but this problem is actually pretty tough. And uh, we're actually going to do this with two substitutions in this case, which might get a little bit tricky. So make sure you're really following along carefully here. So to start this problem, I'm going to let u simply be 2x. And I'm going to let my du be then 2 dx. So now I want to substitute that back into the problem here. The only thing is I have a 2 dx there. So I need to go ahead and make sure I have a 2 dx in my problem. So I'm going to multiply in a 2 dx. Wait, but if I multiply in a 2, now I've changed the problem. So to make up for that, I have to put a 1 half out in front because 1 half times 2 is just 1. So I'm not changing the problem anymore. All right, so now I can go ahead and substitute in here and figure out what this comes out to be. So this problem is really 1 half times the integral of sine cubed u du. Okay, this whole thing is du right there. All right, so now this is also going to get a little bit tricky with what we do here. So we're actually going to bring back some rules from um, trigonometry, some trigonometric identities that you've probably seen before. So hopefully you've seen this where it's sine x squared plus cosine x squared uh, plus cosine squared x equals 1 in this case. And we're going to use this identity to help us out with this problem. Because what I can do is I can rewrite the problem here, if I just rewrite this, as 1 half the integral of sine squared u times sine of u du. Okay, I'm just breaking up the sine cubed into sine squared sine. And the reason why I'm going to do this here is because I can now get sine squared u to have a cosine in it, which I know cosine and sine, you can take derivatives of them to get the other, you know, obviously with your plus and minuses. Um, and that's what we want to get here. So sine squared u, if I were to solve for sine, that would simply be by like minusing cosine squared, minusing cosine squared from both sides. So sine squared x is 1 minus cosine squared x. So for my problem here, sine squared u would be equal to 1 minus cosine squared u. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this problem as 1 half the integral of sine squared u, we just said became 1 minus cosine squared u times sine u du. All right, so now I have this problem. And this is going to be where I'm going to use a second substitution in this case. So let's call this v. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let v be cosine of u. And if that's true, then I know that dv, the derivative of cosine, is negative sine u. Okay, so now again, now I want to substitute back, in, and I should put du here, I want to substitute back in those v's into this problem. But again, notice that I have a negative sine u, but my problem has a positive sine u in this case. So I need to multiply by that negative 1, to get that negative sine u du. But again, now I'm changing the problem. So to make up for that, I multiply by negative 1 out in front, because negative 1 times negative 1 would be a positive 1. And again, we're not changing the problem. So let's keep going here. So then this would become negative a half times the integral of 1 minus u squared, and then negative 1 sine u du just becomes d v, I'm sorry, uh, this should be v squared, okay, 1 minus v squared dv. Perfect. Now I have something that I can finally just integrate very nicely here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So this would be negative 1 half times the integral of 1 in terms of v would just be v, and then minus, this would be v to the third over 3. So we get all of that. And then, of course, we're going to have to put our plus c out here. So now we, all we have to do now is go back and substitute in what we had. So we said v was cosine of u. 
So I'm going to go ahead and make this then negative 1 half times v, which is the cosine of u, minus v cubed, in this case, which would be cosine cubed u over 3. And then I bring down the plus c. So now we're at this. And now we just say what we got before for the u. We said u was 2x. So I'm going to substitute back in 2x for u. So we get negative 1 half cosine 2x um, minus cosine cubed of 2x over 3. And then the plus c down here. And then, of course, we can multiply this through and get negative 1 half cosine of 2x, and then plus, and this would be cosine cubed 2x over 6 plus c, and there would be your answer. All right, I hope this helps. I know this was a pretty tricky problem, so if you have more questions on this, feel free to leave them in the comments below.